Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. It's Christmas Day. Uh, I thought I would get out the uh, the hat and the the bling one last time and and uh, go over Sierra Nevada celebration. That's not coming into focus. Now come on, camera, work with me here. I'm trying to beat the clock. Well kind of get the idea. So it's Sierra Nevada 2020 Celebration Fresh Hop IPA and let's just dive right into it. On their website it says they use churro pale and caramelized malts, Cascades and Tennial and Chinook hops, ale yeast, 6.8% alcohol by volume. So yeah, it's definitely a celebration beer. Not the heaviest beer out there, but um, won't take a lot of these to be filling the Christmas spirit. And it's got a, a bitterness, it has 65 bitterness units. It doesn't specify whether it's uh, international or European or what. And then I gotta scroll back up here. Read the blurb. While other holiday beers go heavy on spice and sweetness, Celebration wields fresh hops, the first harvest of the season, toward its complex and cabin cozy notes of pine, citrus, and malty caramel. Winter time classic since 1981, and your new tradition starting now. Right now, go. So it sounds like a pretty good beer. Um, oh, real quick, before I drink the beer, this was a Christmas present for my wife and son. They made this. It is a toolbox. It has a beer opener here. It has multi gentlemen engraved here. Can hold a six pack. I mean, who does that? I I asked for absolutely nothing. I thought I had everything I needed, and then they hand make me something that I feel like I can't live without now. Um, so yeah, it was a good Christmas here and then oh, my good friend Scott Burmeister made this for me. I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe if I uh, put some light to it. It's got my name so for anybody that doesn't know me personally my name is Josh Ellis. I'm a multi gentleman. He had these made for me. So I just thought that was really really sweet. <clears throat> so get into the beer real quick and then um, just a couple of announcements afterwards. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm tasting every bitterness unit that they got in there. I think I just got all 65 of them in that drink. Yeah, it's definitely a hoppy beer. It's got the piney hops. Um, I'm not picking up any of the citrusy or what was the other notes they said they had? Well, I'm noticing is the piney, but it's really not that bad. And on their website, too, I forgot to mention they have a recipe for a celebration turkey breast. Not that I'm going to use this beer to in multi caramel. I'm not picking up any multi caramel either. And I'm not using this beer to, to make turkey breast, but if you're so inclined, there is a recipe on the website. I will leave a link in the description bar. And hmm, I think that's all I have about the beer. And uh, just a few changes. Some of them, just kind of. Uh, I'm gonna change up a little bit how my videos look going forward. Not a lot. I'm not gonna go crazy. And uh, probably still gonna be wearing a backwards hat and um, just hanging out wherever around the house. But um, I am gonna try to. I am gonna do some some live videos. Or stream live, I guess. Um, I'm going to try to do my first one New Year's Eve. I'm planning on 7 p.m. Central Time. So if anybody's interested in watching that, you can check it out. I don't know that I'll post a video between now and then. And I might, I might not. And if the, the time changes, I'll try to get in there and, and do another vi video just as a update to that. Alright, that was weird, so, um, 
Apparently I wasn't paying attention to how much space I had left on my memory card and had to go and get a new one. The camera decided to stop recording on me, so it is what it is. So, yes, um, moving forward I'm going to be making some changes. I'm going to be going live tentatively 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, and my, a couple of goals. Um, one is to start going to breweries. I'm going to try to reach out to some breweries and see if I can't at least go and um, either record or live stream um, from there. If I can, I would love to get in and see some see the behind the scenes stuff, see their their brew setup, whatever, but I mean whatever I can get is gonna be just awesome. So um looking forward to that. I gotta reach out to some people. Um I'm gonna try really hard. Uh one of the first ones I wanna get to and it my, this one might have to wait until spring just because of the weather is uh uh firehouse brewing in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. Um I would love to get up there and see that. Uh, their brewmaster had actually um, commented, oh, God, it's been months ago now, um, that he appreciated the video I made. Uh, I feel like it was the red, it might have been Hippie Hole. But um, it was one of those two beers, and um, and said in the comments that um, if I'd like to come up and check out the place, that'd be cool. More or less what he said, so um, hoping to do that, hoping to get some some Omaha breweries. If I can find other places that'd be willing to let me either do a tour or maybe just set up and do a quick video. Um, I'd like to just branch out a little bit more, do a little bit more than just sit at home and drink beer, because I can do that without a camera. So um, I just really want to make some interesting content and hopefully entertain some people, so... Um, um, what else? Live streaming, get out, um, a couple of surprises, like, and like I said, I'm going to ch change the format to my video slightly. The bulk of the video, um, is going to be the same. Um, I'm just going to switch up, uh, the intro a little bit, so nothing major. Um, just a few changes in the future. Um, and I can't wait to do it. Uh, like I said, uh, this next week until New Year's Eve, I don't know that I'm going to post any new videos. I might, I might not. Um, it really kind of depends on my schedule this next week, but I might take just a little bit of time off since I've been making so many videos lately and spend some more time with the family during the holidays. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to see every... I won't see anybody. Hopefully you'll get to see me on New Year's Eve. Um, and I really think that's it. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new year. Hopefully it's uh, a little less crazy than this last year. And uh, while it hasn't been terrible for me, I'm an essential worker, so I've still been going to work and stuff. Um, I know a lot of families have been hit hard because of the pandemic and the economic shutdown, and it's been tough. So, But please, if you're in that situation, hang in there. I know it's dark now and it is really tough, but um, it can get better. And there's people thinking about you, so. Uh, Alright, well, uh, enough of that. Um, I guess that's all I got, so thanks for watching. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely.